Oh, yes. Yes. And uh, yeah, you notice that some some words you understand easily because it's the Hebrew is close to the Yiddish. And, yeah. The Hebrew is is much closer to German than it is to to, to Hebrew. Yiddish yeah. is uh, like as is Hebrew close to uh, Arabic. You know, Hebrew and Arabic are like seventy percent. You know, share the same vocabulary. It's very yeah, it's very similar. <laughs> So the uh, same thing with Yiddish and, uh, and German. No, yeah. So then probably I heard, I overheard some people who were speaking Yiddish. Because so sometimes you just heard German mm -hmm. words and you said, wait a second. And was, uh, wait a second is right. <laughs> when I was in Germany, you know, I was here overhearing people speak. Yeah. And half the time I could understand what they were saying. You know, it was like a culture shock for me. It's sort of an interesting parallel too, you know, because, you know, the, even though the languages are so close, there was nonetheless this alienation between two cultures, as there is now between the Zionists and the uh, Palestinians, even though they speak a language which is rather similar. That is the problematic of the state, I believe. That's why I abhor the state, especially Hegel's nation state. In my doctoral thesis, I did a critique starting with Hegel. Hegel, who, who is that? He's a German philosopher.